Louisiana's governor welcomes tourism dollars from Mardi Gras to bolster his state's shaky economy. But he's not so sure about millions in federal stimulus funds. This spending is temporary. It's creating debt my children, my grandchildren are going to have to pay. Most states are happy to take their share of the federal government's $787 billion stimulus bill. Since 33 states are facing huge budget gaps amounting to $40 billion this year. But some Republican governors, including Louisiana's Bobby Jindal, Mississippi's Haley Barber, and South Carolina's Mark Sanford, are denouncing it, saying it will balloon the federal deficit. It may be no coincidence that all three governors are seen as possible presidential candidates in 2012. The money that would come to our state comes with substantial strings attached that frankly undo a lot of what we're trying to do at state level. Their biggest objection is the plan to extend unemployment benefits. In Mississippi, Barber is rejecting $54 million. In Louisiana, Jindal plans to turn back $98 million, both governors claiming the law would eventually force their states to raise taxes. I don't think it makes sense to be raising taxes on Louisiana businesses during these economically challenging times. But that's not a concern for other Republican governors. Well, I mean, I don't think anybody argues that the bill is perfect. Uh, Including Florida's Charlie Crist, who campaigned for President Obama's stimulus legislation. Really what this is about is trying to help people in a, in a critical time of need, and that's why I support it, that's why I know we need it. In fairness, some Democratic governors have also voiced concerns about the unemployment tax provisions, but not enough to reject federal dollars. If GOP governors don't want the money, Democrats say they will be happy to take it. Randall Pinkston, CBS News, New York.